popular Chamorro Cuisine cookbook on ChamorroCuisine.com. And we're back with the link. Of course, your host, Sabrina Salas, Matt Tanani, Andy Wheeler in the Zoom room, Jason Salas, Joe Sir, and myself, Victorious. Welcome back to the show. We've been saying it is going to be a huge day for, for Guam uh, as uh, public health starts uh, uh, vaccinating uh, uh, frontliners, healthcare workers. And so we're going to go to Ukudu High School Live. That is where Adriana Katera is standing by. Good morning, Adriana. Good morning, everyone. Yes, it's a very exciting day, and it's what government officials have been saying is the start to the end here at Okadu as it's the has been designated as the first uh, vaccine clinic on Guam. Now, in just a short few minutes, we are expecting the governor, lieutenant governor, to make their way here and make the big announcement of who will be the first recipient of the vaccine. Now, we're hearing just, um, you know, speaking with DPHSS here on the grounds, they're saying it's going to be a local doctor, but there might quite possibly be two recipients at the same time. So, just to give everyone a look, let me flip my camera so everyone can see what's going on here. Now, once the um, governor gets here, they're going to make the announcement right there on the stage. And then followed by that, what, there's a table already set up and they are going to do the actual vaccine injections. After the vaccine injections, the individuals will then go to stage five, which is where they are um, further processed. And that also includes an observation period of about 15 to 30 minutes. And then once they are sent to stage five, they will open up the clinic doors from this side and then the remaining public health care officials or health care officials that, and professionals will be receiving the vaccine. So we'll unfortunately be kicked out during that time, but we are told that we can wait outside the front doors here of Okudu High School and wait for the first recipients. That way we can try and get any initial reaction and any interviews with them and hopefully be able to get that coverage out there by prime time tonight at six. Is that the Lieutenant Governor there that I see? This is, this is. So we have Janela here, Lieutenant Governor. Hi, we are live on the link right now. Tell me how you're feeling, big day. <laughs> very good, feeling very, uh, very emotional actually. Uh, very optimistic, good day. Uh, this is the next phase of things. Definitely, definitely. And we've been hearing that it's the uh, start to the end, right? Yeah, we can finally see that light at the end of the tunnel. I just want to thank you and everybody for getting the word out and keeping everybody used to Of course, and thank you. And we see Governor yeah. just made her way here. So let's get her initial reaction to the day. And he's just a very exciting individual. And so um, we're I believe she's speaking on who the individual is that'll be receiving the vaccine. Okay. And I've just been reading some of the details about it. So uh, they're going to extend the coronavirus that we have to December 2021. Oh, so, all the federal money. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. news. Yeah. And it's going to work well because now we have a Democrat president. All right, so that is uh, Governor uh, Leon Guerrero just arriving over to Ukudu High School where they're going to be delivering, distributing the first vaccine. I believe that uh, uh, Adriana Katero was mentioning that it will be a, a local physician. That's what the, the buzz is uh, over at uh, Ukudu. Um, uh, before this all begins, uh, the the governor is going to be holding a brief press conference, and uh, then they will uh, do the first uh, shot. Yeah, I just want to show too. Uh, you might have seen, and you can see Adriana's shot right there. They are setting up that backdrop. That's the same, um, uh, the same right. uh, backdrop that the governor is using. But we want to actually show that. And Joseph, you got that graphic right. This is the uh, avatar that Adeloupe was putting out. Um, this is kind of like the slogan, the rallying cry, if you will, for. Uh, hashtag vaccinate GU and hashtag COVID stops with me. Um, they were putting this out. We put it on Twitter yesterday. Um, so as more and more Guamanians okay, get vaccinated, they're, start, they're starting yeah. a press conference. Let's go. No, not yet. They got a few more minutes, it looks like. So they're setting up the podium. I think we might have a second. And you know what? I see uh, public health director right here, Art San Augustine. So we can get his reactions for this morning as well. I know you just gave a speech prior to the rest of um, your team here. So uh, yeah. if you want to just tell us, we're live on the link right now. So you can just give us a little bit about, tell us a little bit about how you're feeling. Well, I am extremely hopeful. I'm encouraged, and I can't deny there's a degree of excitement. Although we've lost a few of our local family members, this is the beginning to an end. So we are excited. We are ramped up. We are ready to start the vaccination for the community of our healthcare professionals today and our healthcare leaders. So we're hearing that the first recipient is going to be a local physician. Can you tell us a little bit more information at all? I know we're about to hear it, but yes, yes, well, uh, yes we have. Um, we actually have um, the staff member of public health and social services. 
uh, we've identified to has been extremely helpful and instrumental in the operations of public health. And so okay. we've identified that that position to be one of the ones to be vaccinated this morning. Okay. All right. And how soon can we see you getting the vaccine? Uh, very soon, I hope. Very soon, I hope. Is that right? Okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Again, that was uh, Public Health Director Artsan Augustine. And then just minutes away from the big announcement. But just because I know we're going to be kicked out of here right after, I just want to give everyone a look of uh, the way the actual clinic is set up. And we've been trying to grab as much photos and videos because this may be our only opportunity. But you see all the public health professionals and officials helping out. And they were they were gathered earlier and they received quite the quite the pep talk. It was it was amazing actually. I was able to capture it on the camera. So we'll be sure to have that later as well. Okay. Yeah, and, and they're calling this like a points of a distribution, I think pods, right? And this is just the first day uh in what is it, three days? They're going to have it today, Friday, and Saturday? Yes, I believe that is correct. And then um, Janella had said that she promises to do an interview with me at 9 a.m., so I'll hopefully get some more information and just see um, okay. what, what, where the other clinics and how many vaccines will also be distributed to GMH and GRMC. Okay. And so just for... Yeah, uh, the, the setups are like this. Okay. And today, according to the priority groups and the different phases that were issued by the Department of Public uh, uh, Health, um, the way the vaccination is going to be distributed, it's in three phases. The first phase would be healthcare personnel, then residents of long-term care facilities, then it goes down to the essential workers, the police officers, the firefighters, and then people with uh, comorbidities and, and elderly ab adults. Uh, then phase two is uh, the remainder of phase one that didn't get uh, vaccinated and then other critical uh, populations. And then uh, for phase three, it's also just to catch up with phase two. And so this is just the first dose of the vaccine. Um, the second dose, uh, I think you're supposed to take it in uh, in about three weeks. Yeah. 21 days. Right. And this is your first-hand look, again, of uh, the uh, pod, the vaccination uh, point of distribution clinic uh, stood up by Public Health, where they are scheduled any minute now to give the uh, first vaccine. And what we're hearing is going to be a local phys uh, physician. And possibly even two, Adriana was saying, right? There, there may be two at the same time. And again, if you guys want to see, like, we've got a real quick, uh, you know, the uh, two... The TLDR, uh, for those of you who know what that means, is a recap on KUM.com right now. Uh, Annette Uggen from Public Health was actually uh, emphasizing yesterday that, you know, just because the vaccine is rolling out, it's going to be several months still before uh, the vast majority of the island is properly vaccinated. So, you know, by no means is this just, you know, a few day thing and then we're going to be good. So, again, they highly encourage you to continue the four W's, wear your mask, stay socially distant, you know, ex exercise, exercise. Uh, good willpower and be a good steward of yourself, your family, and your neighbors. Um, but this is nonetheless a historic moment for our island. Um, Adriano, um, one thing that Annette was saying before they start was um, uh, obviously security is big for the vaccine because that is such a um, such a valuable asset for them. It, can you describe the? Um, is there a security element there? Is there is there police? Is there um, private security around Ukudu? So I got here a little around 7 a.m., which um, I don't think the vaccine was even here at the time of it being here yet. But from what I noticed is that we see some members of the National Guard here. Otherwise, I don't see any police officers, any GPD officers yet. Um, I know that, I mean, we know public health is here, of course. But other than that, I, I haven't I haven't seen any officers. They could be outside, though. Mm -hmm. Well, we can also assume with as, as many high-level dignitaries as, as there are, uh, present there and everything like that. There is a, I mean, the place is very, very safe and very secure. And I think Andy, you spoke with uh, when when Mark Scott from the National Guard was on yes. the show. He was talking about uh, the extent of involvement uh, with the National Guard. Uh, yeah, they're they're highly involved in this. Uh, you know, whatever public health needs them to do. As he said, uh, they're having their combat medics train up on administering civilian vaccines because they are uh, certified to give the army vaccines, 
uh, but for the civilian, it's just another level of training. And I believe they were doing that uh, last weekend, uh, providing security, helping with distribution, whatever it is that uh, public health needs. Uh, as uh, Captain Scott said, uh, the guard is ready. Uh, but one thing though, there's a lot of people up there. That's a big gathering. I want everyone in Ukudu arrested immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're I think we're still waiting on um, the, lo the local position to get here. That's what we're waiting on right well, now. Well, Adrian, as you, Governor, as you walk Lieutenant around, Governor, you talked to so many people there even before you joined us on Zoom and everything. Um, can you tell us about like what's the uh, what's the mood of the room and you know kind of what's the what's the overall sentiment from the people that are gathered there? You want to see them donning on their Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Sorry. Um, Yes, it's the energy definitely is alive here this morning. And, you know, as I had mentioned prior, um, Artin Augustine, the director of public health, had give a wonderful pep talk. And he had just told every single person in the room to, to stop, stand still and look around who's next to you. And everyone just kind of looked around the room, noticed who was next. And they said, in this moment, this is who you are standing by when the first vaccine is going to be given in Guam. And, our, and it, everyone was just kind of like, whoa, thinking about history is being made right now. We are, and I'm standing there looking at Jake on camera, I'm like, okay, this is who I'm standing next to. And again, we're just waiting for uh, the, the press conference to begin uh, with the governor making her remarks. We did hear from the Lieutenant Governor earlier, who was very emotional, almost to, to the point, I'm not used to hear, hearing him have so few words because he usually has a, a lot to say. Uh -huh. But definitely he was emotional about uh, what was uh, what's about to go happen today. And we, we can assume, too, that, you know, this this affects him as well as the governor profoundly on an emotional level, because having actually contract contracted the virus and everything and now seeing the medication roll out to our people and everything like that. You know, and th this is something that I'm sure that both Josh Tenorio and Lulu Arnguerrero, you know, did not foresee when they when they assumed office and saw as part of their um their governorship. None of us did as, as citizens, but you know, nonetheless, this is something that they have dedicated their very existence to and trying to get, you know, this right. Every day is a new challenge. Things go, turn 101, they do a total 180, you know, from day to day, sometimes within the context of the same day. Um, but now that the moment is upon us and everything, you were right. Now you can just see um, the Lieutenant Governor very uncharacteristically like at a loss for words. And you know, that in itself speaks volumes. You know, well, yeah, just imagine, guys, uh, like you said, Jason, everything we've been through for the past 10, 11 months, almost a year of hearing about this thing, uh, the lockdowns, uh, the economic hardships, the furloughs, uh, people getting sick, all the deaths. Uh, and then now to be at this point, uh, there, there's so much hope. People are finally feeling that, man, we, we can really start getting back to a normal life. So just, you know, me personally, thinking back on this past year of being down, being in my place, uh, this is just such a good moment. I'm so happy to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. and, and Governor Leon Guerrero did say that yesterday during um, her press conference and also during her Zoom call with us as she goes, guys, you know, this is, I, I want to, again, remind everybody to stay vigilant but she goes this is the beginning of a brand new road for our island and, and our people are at the are just at the beginning all right and you know what guys just to, not to cut you off but i believe this is who will be taking the first vaccine correct one of the first dr uh leon guerrero how do you feel right now going about to I'm scared i don't like shots you and me both i don't order it i don't see it but i just don't like shots but it's a necessary evil. We want to get our island back to where it was, where we can go out and eat, watch TV, watch movies at a movie theater, go traveling. We need to do something to extend this tide. Of course, and just um, you know, to ask, are you nervous about any adverse reactions or any side effects? I'm just nervous about the job, meaning the pain. The pain. Okay. Yeah, other stuff I can handle. The pain. I'm not a person person with pain. Okay. Well, you know, we would love to also get your reaction after you sure. take the shots. We'll be waiting for you outside. But how did you um, get into the position to be able to be the, one of the first recipients? I'm in musician. Oh, okay. That's how. And I've been on this island practicing medicine since 1984. So, that's why I probably like And I'm local. Of course. 
Oh, and it looks like you're about to head up there. Thank yeah. you very much. You're welcome. Have a nice day. No Christmas. You have actually so interviewed um, the physician who will be receiving her. Right? No, that's Uncle Bob. Bob. So <laughs> Uncle Bob. <laughs> Maintain your distance, but start to settle down. So in about five minutes. Okay, okay so the, we'll the press conference is going to start in, in about five minutes. I'm wondering, are we able to bring in Rear Admiral um, 